service over. For the one call. Oh, fires Robert Blair and Tan Bing Sheng. <laughs> this uh, probably one of their biggest matches in their partnership because they only formed their partnership last year during the Thailand Grand Prix when they did win a couple of titles Two, at the end of one. 2012 the Bulgarian International and the Turkey International as well but prior to this All England hadn't won a match so far in 2013 Service over. Two off. Robert Blair, of course, who was born in Scotland and started his badminton career representing his Service native over. country. Then started Three. representing Two. England and indeed played a spell with Anthony Clark, reached the final of the World Championships in Madrid. 2006, but left Service the over. England set up Three a couple of years ago to return to Scotland. And, uh, well, how do I describe this? Dif difficult circumstances. There was uh, perhaps un unrest with some of the other England squad players. rally. Yeah. Got to be awfully careful getting embroiled in these flat Service fast over. exchanges with the Four. Japanese pair. Three. Perhaps Anthony you can enlighten us about what happened with Robert Blair and him leaving the England set up returning to Scotland and of course for the Olympic Games that makes no difference at all because we compete as Great Britain. I mean, he took the opportunity to come from Scotland down to England, with the better training facilities in Milton Keynes. He's a over. prolific player in men's doubles, you know, Four. a former partner of mine. He was the perfect partner for me, very, very quick around the back of the court, allowed me to get him to play the net. Um, yeah, there was a, a lot of arguments about with the management, and he decided to return to Scotland and continue his playing career up there felt that he didn't need the funding from the English system. Five, four. He's now going back and representing Scotland and can do so, like you say, in the Olympics and also will be able to do so in the Commonwealth Games. Service over. Five, four. And of course, there has been an awful lot of talk recently in... British circles as far as British badminton is concerned and oh, very Six. sad news from my point of view that uh, as a badminton fan that Jenny Woolwick has resigned from the National Training Centre in Milton Keynes. I think that's a huge shame. I think she's one of the most talented players around at the moment and hopefully that can be sorted out but of course She's not the first player to have left the training centre, as you've just said. Robert Blair was one. Susan Egglestaff decided that she wanted to train in Scotland Service as well. Seven, six. Yeah, we also had Imogen Bank here that was training in Milton Keynes. You know, at the end of the day, moving your base from Scotland down to England, you're going to find that very, very Service difficult. Over. Seven, it is sad whenever we lose players, that's for sure. Certainly of the, the talents of some of these players. You know, no system can be perfect for everybody. No, but I mean, so, is, is that one Eight, reason why we're seven. now seeing Robert Blair playing with a Malaysian? Because, I mean, I know that uh, Tan lives in Kuala Lumpur. I mean, they can't get to, to practice together and train together all that much, can they? It must be really difficult. I mean, building a successful men's doubles partnership is based on training Service together for hours and hours every Eight. single day. You know, total understanding of who's taking what shots. You know, what to look for when your opponent, your partner is smashing. So, really, it's difficult. You've got two very, very good quality players on court together, but at times we all get confused of who is taking Service what. Over. 
No, they're certainly living with the wall number fours at the moment. Well, Scottish coach. is part of the problem for the Japanese pair is that they don't really know tactically what to do against this pair of Blair and Tan. And that's gone long. And it is indeed the qualifiers that will have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Of course, we talked about uh, this pair. Let's have listen in to this. And everything like when you're at the net, the turn serve or driving, mixing with the centre is very well. You yeah, understand? Because if you push inside, and, and you have to take shadows early, make them off balance. Otherwise, they give their life to do that. And also, the ball in the flat one, you know, when you, when you play flat, you take a pace off, and they can't keep the rhythm going, right? Or either pop over. And the first three shots just to take your time, because when they're losing, they're all a bit more aggressive. So if you take your time breaking the rhythm, then they'll make it error. Oh, keep them moving though, seconds. it was very good though. When you defend, you oh, took them wow. earlier, then seconds. you can be able to Thank move you. them, whip them side to Thank side. You. Oh, well, there you go, she's pretty happy Thank with you. them. But let's look at this from the other perspective, from the, from the Japanese perspective. Talk us through, Anthony, what the qualities of this Japanese pair are. 11, 8. Well, they're both very, very quick around yeah. the court. But they like it to be a very crash bang wallop, very high pace, movement all the time. Like this mid-court exchange as we're seeing right now. Oh. Problem is they don't vary it enough. You know, there's other Asian oh. pairs. Eight. They would be coming out on top on a lot of these rallies. The variation from you know, their opponents is what is undoing them at the moment. Oh. Thirteen. Eight. Five straight points for a five point advantage. Oh, right idea. He just didn't quite have his Nine, racket ready, ready at the net. You know, some players don't like to have their rackets really high up, but he just didn't look like he was ready to pounce on it. I certainly believe that it's Hiroyuki Endo that's the clever tactician within the Japanese pair. Had a very good end to last year, didn't they? Reach the final of the season ending Super Series finals in Shenzhen. In China, but in all honesty, so far in 2013, the Japanese pair have failed to live up to expectations. Three tournaments they've played so far haven't lived up to their seeding position. Service over. 14. I think like any new pair, any pair that are doing very, very well within these big tournaments, players start to work them out, and once one pair works out their tactics everybody seems to jump on that bandwagon and so you know your results are going to go up and down because players become more clever against you 14. we've got Hayakawa here he's definitely the net man looking to take the net away from his opponents it's the endo more the creator Over. I thought it was a poor 15, miss 12. at the net. A lucky defensive shot, but that wasn't the tightest. Service over. 
13, 15. Service over. 16, 13. You'll hear the pair of Blair and Turn doing exactly what the coach had suggested, that just slow things down a bit, take their time. I'm seeing this an awful lot in badminton, and I think there's a very blurred line between what is really within the spirit of the rules and just stretching those lines of legality to where it crosses over into gamesmanship. 16, but it's the umpire 30. who's got to keep an eye on it. The umpire doesn't say, no, you must play on, because in fact the rules of badminton do say play must be continuous. Yeah. That was an incredible smash cross court from the flick serve. Service over. 14, 16. What Blair... And uh, trying to do is, like you say, slow their opponents down. The Japanese players really like to get a long runs and fast explosive patterns. And when you do slow them down, they start to question each other, question themselves. Oh, really great nice. rally. Absolute sitter at the net. 17-14. Dear me. Definite signs so to me so that the Japanese pair are looking to get on the attack 15, more, be more 17. positive within the rallies. You can almost see how close up behind the rear court player is. Both players pressing forwards, looking for the attack. Oh. Japanese coach. Lost his touch at the front of the court. 18, 15. I think he's struggling with the movement at the front of the court. The last two that he's missed, he's not really got his feet in the right position there. He's planted to start with, and then when he needs to explode, he's just not quite early enough. Oh. Service over. 16, 18. Service over. And he was right. He was 19, right to leave it. 16. That was incredible power off defence. It was a short lift in the first place. And to be able to lift the shuttle out the back of the court from where he was. Point opportunities now for Blair 20, and Tan. Game point, 16. Game point, 16. Yeah. Well taken first of all at the front of the court. Service over. Hiroyuki Endo set up a rally. 17, 20. That was the one. Nicely finished off too. One of the game points saved. Oh, what a great return from Robert Blair. First game, 
won by Robert Blair and Vincent Tan. 21 17. 21 17. And the fairy tale continues. Qualifiers. The game up. So against the end of four seeds. Because it, they will try to challenge you, sir, yeah? Because a lot of now that we were quite successful when you block through the mid middle, they don't really know when you're using full hand or back hand, back hand side. They're not feel comfortable. But now we will need active third shots. Now they're, they're all going to compete with us at the net. You know I mean? If you just be nerve, a third shots get ready. This one, right? when they pop up to mid court, they both back off. So again, we step forward, we can block, and then we can get them lift out the back. You don't always have to drive or push. It is not or over. When you're taking the below over, and so if you're pushing a little bit more, they're very good to like it, and they're very, you know, it's very, very aggressive attacking you. But everything attacking to centre, they're brilliant because they create a lot more. We they don't need awkward. hard, just softer they're and awkward. steeper, and they, they feed up for mid court or they make mistake. We hit hard and they, they hit you know, better shots. It, especially at the start of the game, they will go fast. Yeah. You know, go pace up, and then you just nerd, and you're taking your pace up. And you want to control the rhythm because they don't feel comfortable. You don't let them get into the sort of the routines part of the world. You get some of that bam, bam, very good at it. You know, that let them keep going. That's great, you know. Well, the qualifiers of Robert Blair Court and one, Tanshin Tanbin Sheng. Court one. Twenty-seven. Tactics absolutely clear, having spoken to the Scottish coach. Who originates from China. It's all multinational nowadays, isn't it? <coughs> Control the rhythm, Second she was saying. Level. Keep the shuttle going down the centre. <laughs> Take the pace off. Robert Blair was adding himself that little blocks and he believes that opponents could well lift out the back of the court if he forced them in on their defence. Good opening, Rally. But what you've got to take into account, obviously, Anthony, as a player, is not only what your coach says to you, but you've got to try and think about probably what your opponent's coach is saying to them and how they're going to come out for the second game. I think it's softening the floor with some of the Japanese doubles players, so they do like to play the same way all the time. You know, they like to go very, very fast into the net, very, very fast into the midcourt with the hard drives. You know, Robert Blair and the Scottish coach, totally right with the tactics. Keep blocking the shuttle, vary the speeds in the midcourt, you know, take the net away with soft touches to the middle, and not to get involved in too much of the drives. See there, Blair telling Tan, lay the shuttle off rather than drive it. Four, yes, the problem one. is, is that they're just defending too much. I think they've got into the psyche of we've got to play soft and and that is translating into the reality of defending. To play good soft touch badminton, you actually need to move your feet more than when you're actually just thrashing the shuttle across the net. You know, and that's the danger, isn't it? That you, you take your foot off the gas by playing soft, and you allow your opponent to go back into the match. One, four. Nice play from Tambin Ching. Service over. Five, one. Huh. They are relentless, so Japanese with that mid-court play. They will keep doing it, and the more the confidence grows within the pair, it become even more and more difficult for their opponents to deal with. Ideal tactic against a brand new pair. Six, one. Keep down the centre. Get them confused. 
played on the backhand too. That was impressive. Very, very different Seven. from the second game wow. to the opening game. The change of ends can have made an impact here. I think the Japanese are now hitting into a bit of a win, so their, their flat drives aren't going to travel out the back of the court so much. So they feel more comfortable from this end of the court. Taken from Robert Blair. Service over. Two seven. Brilliant anticipation. Saw the net shot. Very clever to brush over the top of the shuttle rather than hit that one too hard. sense that the Japanese players are taking Eight, more chances three. to go forward to the net to try and anticipate. And it really is making a big difference. Uh, that one's gone wrong. Service over. Four, eight. Right idea from the Japanese player. Stepped right in, used the double action shot up the line. Hey! Malaysians happy to see that one go long. Hey! Broken rackets, I'm sure. Sounded like a bit of a crack there, the clash of rackets between Five, the two Japanese eight. players. Well, they're checking the rackets, they seem to think they're all right. Look at the racket immediately afterwards. Ah! Nice clever. He is such a clever player, is Robert Blair. Six, eight. All of a sudden, they're right back in it. And Stowers really is won and lost around the net. First player to the net, get the early net shot in, look for the push through. And usually, ah! the pair on the attack. Not win a match. Seven, eight. Just reward. Such a skillful shot to have played at men's doubles below the tape. You know, one of his players close to that did a little double action shot to play the net shot. Thank you. Oh, courageous shot, not just good skill. And on a run of five straight points, they are back level. Eight. Galak to finish it off. Nine, eight. It was a very, very short lift. So close to the net, Hayakawa. He didn't really have time to swing his racket. That's what of course the miss hit. Test. 
Yeah, turn just questioning the umpire about the formation. Oh, it's clever again. Ten, eight. affiliation with this country does Tan because of course his wife Melissa Lee studied law at Northumbria University oh. Oh, done it. Okay. Eleven, eight. No, got themselves back level to be honest a couple of sloppy points from Blair and Tan Half time is a little bit of a little bit they feel a bit more uncomfortable. Because if you, if you, if the bench is, if you're pushing like a limbo flat shot, a very good jump in it. Come on, that. Just keep pressure going forward. We get these blocks early. Get the blocks early, yeah, and pressure going forward. Really interesting to see 11, the difference eight. in animation between the two coaches. The Japanese coach almost encouraging the, his players to go forwards very quickly and even when they're going to hold the net shot to push them shot through hard. Service over. 9-11. Of course, Robert Blair is the last British player left in this year's All England Championships. And the home fans will certainly be supporting him. Service over. 12, 9. Right idea, just overdoing it. Oh, good serve. Very deceptive indeed. Looked like he was going to low serve. Quick flick of the wrist, last minute. Does have a very, very tricky serve, Hayakawa. Nobody more disappointed than Robert Blair himself. Knows that was an opportunity. Big gap straight down the line. Magnificent from Hero Yuki Endo. Really clever half smash the shot before. Look at the elevation on the jump as well. Incredible explosive power. Yeah, especially as it had to move all the way from the right hand side of the court to play that. And the left hand side play around the head. Did wonderfully well to control the shuttle. wide service over 10 15 service over Looks like the Japanese 16, have upped their 10. pace level again. The opponents, just to me, look like they've slowed ever so fractionally in the last sort of five or six points. At this speed and this standard, 
just can't afford to stop moving your feet. Service over. Of course. Blair 11, and, uh, 16. 31 and 29 respectively. In comparison to 26 year olds. Of course, Tan is an independent player, which means that he doesn't have the benefit of the national training in Kuala Lumpur. Service over. 17, 11. between success and failure are so small that shuttle hit the top of the table and fell back their side. Service over. 12, 18. Service over. It's kind of signs of what I was talking about 19, there, Jill. Just didn't 12. move his feet onto the shuttle. And a miss hit the lift, giving him very easy put away for his opponent. Service over. Yeah, looks a little tired, 13, doesn't he? Perhaps too many sleepless nights with his brand new baby. <laughs> baby. Two months old now. Yeah, he just snatched at that a little. 20, game point, 30. And now, game point opportunities to level this one game apiece. Game. And indeed they do on their first opportunity. Second game won by Hiroyuki Endo and Kenichi Hayakawa. 21-13 confirmed by Girish Natu of India. It is indeed one game apiece. If you take it early, a lot easier to push it down. Okay, avoiding to flat shot. If you flat shot, just block or over. When you block up the time, they will come forward. Then you need them one mixing one over. Then you block again. Especially this big guy. Then you play the drive, you have charge. So if you take, if you play past me in the net, come to you, you can go over him. Over, over his head, all right? And, and the same, and then we need to play in two center, center. Basically, you cut, cut your whole space off. In fact, if you're tucking your block to center, all right? But the key point is, I said, you've got to keep your feet and move. Take your time, take your time, you know what I mean? And then you, you need a recovery, then you can be able to play fresh every point. Yeah. Right, but you know, everything is doing okay. It's just two things. One is the net, so it's just active. And the third is try to take the pace off. Avoiding play flat to get the net. Two things, said coach there. Blocks to the net. And if necessary, I've got to get it over the head of the Japanese players because when they're defending, they're coming forward. Perfect tactics, but very, very difficult to implement when you're playing somebody as quick as the Japanese are. And if it is the case that Blair and Tan have lost a little bit of speed because they're getting a little bit fatigued, then that tactics becomes even more difficult. Key to the block is to step forward and take it as early as possible. Yes, yeah, so and I think the key to the outcome of this is the start to this deciding game. Absolutely imperative, especially as far as Blair and Tan are concerned. Need a good start. Yeah. The Japanese pair are acutely aware of that as well. I've got a feeling the Japanese will be looking to put their attack towards Tam because they know they're going to get a harder drive reply from him. Yeah, well, there was a 
wasn't the variation in pace that the coach had been asking for. There was really far too much hard hitting in that rally from Blair and Tan. Awesome defence from the Japanese as well. You're never going to get through these players with just big smashes. Got to put it down steep. And the occasional stop drop. Oh dear. Three, one. Now, it was an opportunity. At this level, you just have to take every opportunity that's presented. Well, they tried earlier on in that rally, didn't they? The little hold and trying to get it deep and over their heads into the back corner. That one, but of course, Endo was just too quick. Still able to play the downward shot, the smash. didn't think that was going out. There's nowhere near the back. <laughs> no, I think he just got caught. His body movement was going forward, just couldn't change direction. to impose their dominance on this third and deciding game. Oh, good defence, that's the one. Well, the fans here in Birmingham. Two, six. Courage, Blair and Tan. Ooh, look at those big gulps of air being taken in by Tan Bing Shen. Mm. And then the error on serve, I hate to say it, Anthony, but it is a sign of fatigue. You know, when your, your fatigue levels drop, even just by 10%, your decision making becomes a lot, lot worse. And even something as simple as a serve. You take oh! concentration off it a little bit again on the net shot there. Eight, two. It makes all the difference. It makes your timing ever so slightly off. When you play and play is as quick as the Japanese are. You know, fitness is a huge, huge part of the game. Did he get back to that shot once he'd gone the wrong way? Play with such power. That yeah, really shows how quick the Japanese players are when they're at, they're at full flow. Love it. Yeah, I'm trying to persuade the players to get back on to court and continue. Three, nine. Experienced umpire is Hirish Natu from oh. India. Oh. 
Oh, did well to deal with that flip serve. Ten, three. Yeah, once again, just sacrificing the power for good placement. And there's another example of the timing being off when you're fatigued. The defensive turn. Patience in the end there. Robert Blair. And it means that the number four seeds have a point advantage at the change of ends in this deciding game. And to be honest, Anthony, it's difficult to see a way back for Blair and Tan from this sort of deficit. I think the only way back is if the Japanese have a complete and utter meltdown. And you just can't see that happening. And you can see they've grown in confidence throughout the match. Clearly they can see that their opponents have dropped their pace ever so slightly. You know, even a 1% drop in speed from an opponent. You know it. You know it's happening. You can see higher powers, confidence in and around the net. He looks very, very explosive, very, very sharp around the net. And for me, there, there is no way back from here. Surely, the, so there's, uh, I mean, obviously, we can see that they're fatigued. We can see that they're just slightly off the pace from how they started the match. But surely there's something tactically that they could try to try and turn this around. I mean, you know, this is the all England. It's the biggest of the big tournaments, isn't it? And, you know, they're not going to give up without a fight. But, you know, I, I'd like to see them try and take half chances to come forward. There we go. Robert Blair, thank you. Over. Of course, you're never going to give Four, up in a big, left. big tournament like this with an opponent playing as quick as they are. You know, maybe the tactic could be to lift everything onto the back line and vary the game. Yeah. I've got to try something. That's my point. It's, it's whether they want to lift everything to the back or whether they want to just storm the net and try and anticipate everything and try and make the difference from the front of the court whatever the tactic they've got to change from what they're doing at the moment well, i think the tactic is from what i've seen in these first three points since the turnaround is just to drive everything and run forwards Too low, sort of reaching up Six. to take it as early as possible. Bent arm as he played that. Service over. Turn the serve from Tan Bin Chen. Nice and tight across the net. Explosive power from Endo. So good around the head. They even broke the string on that smash. Still managed to place it beautifully. Just under 45 minutes yeah. this match has been in progress. into the mid-court game 30. and then went over the top very clever creating a weak drive and it pounces on the mid-court
Service open. 14. Here he's got to play something spectacular to get him back in this game. Very tricky shot. Turn of serve. Clipping the net cord with the net shot. 15, nine. When it spins so violently like that, very difficult to play another tight shot back. Saloon, one suspects. 10, 16. Service over. 17. It's all gone a bit gong ho in the last four or five points, trying everything they can. To say so, Anthony, I'd Service rather over. see that than the way they started this 11, deciding game, 17. which to me was just far too defensive. Yes, yeah, it is his hit and miss. I, I accept that, but. Yeah. Worth a go, in my opinion. Read the game absolutely brilliant, Robert Blair. I'm lucky to not have put 11. that one on the floor. And unfortunately, exposed his partner because he was looking to cover. Ever all England quarter final as far as the Japanese players are concerned. Oh, good defence. Service over. That's fantastic defence from Robert Blair. Very Spoke. short. On the defence, no backswing at all. String's gone in the racket of turn. Uh, dash forward with the hope that Service Robert over. Blair had realised that and no hope Match of controlling the shuttle well. from the back of the court. He knows the strings have gone, so he rushes forward, but Blair unaware of what was going on. Now the number four seeds from Japan. Great match point opportunities. Service over. 13, 20. Oh, 
just missed it. Would you believe it? 14, 20. Oh, perhaps just thought that the rally and the match was already won. It's well long of the back line. Well, the luck of the net cords for Arakawa finishes off the match. 17, 21, 21, 13, 21, 14 in the deciding game. And for the first time in the third time of asking at All England Championships. Japanese power through to the quarter final. 51 minutes, and they did it the hard way after dropping the opening game, but safely through to quarterfinals. で、2ゲームの11セブン、あ、セブンワンになってちょっと止まったなと思ったら追いつかれた。またテフレで。で、battle and it means that they are in the quarterfinals the number four seeds Endo and Haokawa and it could possibly be an all Japanese quarterfinal because Hashimoto and Hirata are up against Kim Jung and Kim Sarang in the last 16 encounter so the players are already out on court for our next match which is women's singles two-time former champion Tina Bound, number seven seed this year up against Han Lee from China. So Tina Bound, this is her last ever tournament in international badminton. As stated, she will retire after this year's England Championships. Number seven in the world ranking and hence the number seven seed but she has been as high as one in the world ranking has had three different spells as world number one a win loss record for the year translates into one quarter final that was the malaysian super series and lost in the second round of the korea super series as well so as far as Tina Brown is concerned. First round victory of the qualifier from France. Very comfortable it was to just 26 minutes. And how dearly she would love to end her playing career with yet another All England final. Three finals, of course, she's been in. Three consecutive finals because she was beaten finalist in 2009. So to her opponent, Han Lee, the 25-year-old from Shandong province. Number 15 in the world ranking, and that's the fifth 
Chinese player in the world ranking. Four others ranked above her, making her first appearance here at the All England Championships. She was semi-finalist in Korea and lost in the second round last week at the German Grand Prix. So in her first round, had to play against Yip Pui Yin, who of course was quarter-finalist at these All England Championships in 2009, the Hong Kong player. And look at how comfortable that was, 21-12, 21-9. So, this is the first meeting between these two players. 